I am very happy to be back. Thank you, NTU, for letting us use your stadium. The last time I was here, I received a degree from NTU. And I gave the run, don't walk speech. And today we have a lot to cover. So I cannot walk, I must run. Taiwan is the home of our treasured partners. This is, in fact, where everything NVIDIA does begins. Our partners and ourselves take it to the world. Taiwan and our partnership has created the world's AI infrastructure. This is Earth 2. The idea that we would create a digital twin of the Earth, that we would go and simulate the Earth so that we could predict the future of our planet to better avert disasters or better understand the impact of climate change so that we can adapt better. CoreDiff is NVIDIA's AI model. It is trained on WRF's supercomputer models. It is trained on WRF's s u p e r c o m p 在台湾的中央气象局，是用这些模型来更精确地预测台风登陆点。但我们并不止步于此，下一个前沿是超本地预测，能精确到数十米，并考虑到城市基础设施的影响。Remember, the idea that Microsoft created for packaging software revolutionized the PC industry. Without packaged software, what would we use the PC to do? It drove this industry, and now we have a new factory, a new computer, and what we will run on top of this is a new type of software, and we call it NIMS, NVIDIA Inference Microservices. Now, what what happens is the NIM runs inside this factory, and this NIM is a pre-trained model. It's an AI. You download this NIM, and you can talk to it. So long as you have CUDA on your computer, which is now, of course, everywhere, it's in every cloud, available from every computer maker, it is available in hundreds of millions of PCs. When you download this, you have an AI, and you can chat with it like ChatGPT. All of the software is now integrated. 400 dependencies all integrated into one. Now, of course, we could interact with these large, these AI services with Text prompts and speech prompts. However, there are many applications where we would like to interact with what, the, what is otherwise a human-like form. We call them digital humans. The foundation of digital humans are AI models built on multilingual speech recognition and synthesis, and LLMs that understand and generate conversation. <laughs> 我们有丰富的祭祀仪式和传统舞蹈，还有对大自然的崇拜。The AIs connect to another generative AI to dynamically animate a lifelike 3D mesh of a face. And finally, AI models that reproduce lifelike appearances. We had the good wisdom of including Tensor Core GPUs in all of RTX, so we've been shipping AI GPUs for some time. Preparing ourselves for this day. The reason for that is very simple. We always knew that in order to create a new computing platform, you need an install base first. Eventually, the application will come. If you don't create the in install base, how could the application come? And so, if you build it, they might not come. But if you build it, if you don't build it, they cannot come. And so we. Installed every single RTX GPU with TensorCore, G, TensorCore processing, and now we have 100 million GeForce 
RTX AI PCs in the world, and we're shipping 200, and this, this Computex, we're featuring four new amazing laptops. All of them are able to run AI. Your future laptop, your future PC will become an AI. It'll be constantly helping you, assisting you in the background. Blackwell, of course, uh, is the first generation of NVIDIA platforms that was launched at the beginning, at the, right as the world knows the generative AI era is here. Just as the world realized the importance of AI factories, just as the beginning of this new industrial revolution. This is the very first time that this next click has been made. And I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to regret this or not. We have code names in our company, and uh, we try to keep them very secret. Uh, oftentimes, uh, most of the employees don't even know. But our next generation platform is called Rubin. The Rubin platform, the Rubin platform, um, I'm, I'm not going to spend much time on it. Uh, I know what's going to happen. You're going to take pictures of it, and you're going to go look at the fine prints, uh, and feel free to do that. So we have the Rubin platform, and one year later, we'd have the Rubin um, Ultra platform. All of these chips that I'm showing you here are all in full development, 100% of them. And the rhythm is one year at the limits of technology, all 100% architecturally compatible. Now let's talk about factories. Factories has a completely different ecosystem. And Foxconn is building some of the world's most advanced factories. Their ecosystem, again, edge computers and robotics, software for designing the factories, the workflows, programming the robots, and of course, PLC computers that orchestrate uh, the digital factories and the AI factories. We have SDKs uh, that are connected into each one of these ecosystems as well. This is happening all over Taiwan. Foxconn has built, is building digital twins of their factories. Delta is building digital twins of their factories. By the way, half is real, half is digital, half is omniverse. Pegatron is building digital twins of their robotic factories. Wistron is building digital twins of their robotic factories. Very high volume robotics products. One, of course, is the self-driving car, or cars that have a great deal of autonomous capability. NVIDIA, again, builds the entire stack. Next year, we're gonna go to production with the Mercedes fleet. The next high volume robotics product that's going to be manufactured by Robotic factories with robots inside will likely be humanoid robots. And this has great progress in recent years in both the cognitive capability because of foundation models and also the world understanding capability that we're in the process of developing. I'm really excited about this area because obviously the easiest robot to adapt into the world are humanoid robots because we built the world for us. We also have the vast, the most amount of data to train these robots than other types of robots because we have the same uh, physique. And so the amount of training data we can provide through demonstration capabilities and video capabilities is going to be really great. And so we're going to see a lot of progress in this area. Well, uh, I think we have um, some robots that we'd like to uh, welcome. Here we go. About my size. And we have, we have some friends to join us. So the future, the future of robot, robotics is here, the next wave of AI. And, and of course, you know, Taiwan builds computers with keyboards. You build computers for your pocket. You build computers for data centers in the cloud. In the future, you're going to build computers that walk and computers that roll, you know, around. And um, so these are all just computers. And as, as it turns out, uh, the technology is very similar to the technology of building uh, all of the other computers that you already build today. So this is going to be uh, a really extraordinary uh, journey for us. Well, uh, I want to thank, I want to, <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank, I want to, I have, I've, I've made one last video if you don't mind. 
uh, something that, that uh, 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 we, we really enjoyed making. Um, and if you, let's run it. Taiwan, 在这条漫长的路上，无数的伙伴支持着我们，从加速运算、电脑绘图、科学研究到人工智慧的高峰，每一个晶片、每一台电脑都描写着你们辛勤工作和追求完美的故事。台湾是无名的英雄，确实世界